The ocean is one of the many national beauties of the earth, from the gorgeous views on the sandy beaches to the spectacular diversity of marine life down below. The ocean provides us with a deeper connection for nature. Because we humans get to reap the many benefits of the ocean, it is our responsibility to take care of it, which we have been failing to do for many years. According to the National Center of Ecological Analysis and Scientists, 8 million metric tons of plastic are released into the ocean each year. Plastic bottles and other trash items are littered on the street which get pushed into the sewers by cars on the road and wind. The trash in the sewers flows into the sea, causing serious damage of marine life and water quality. Based on a recent study conducted by the Center for Biological Diversity, fish in the North Pacific Ocean ingest between 12,000 to 24,000 tons of plastic each year. This results in injuries to their intestines, ultimately leading to their death. Fish consuming plastic transfers the damage up the food chain to other marine life that use those fish as a food source due to the contamination. Plastic pollution has a direct impact on human populations because fish are a main source of food for people all over the world. Lead, cadmium, and mercury are common toxins found in plastic which are ingested by the fish that humans consume and are a direct link to certain cancers, birth defects, and immune system problems. Sea turtles mistake plastic floating in the water for food, which can suffocate them and clog their digestive system. Plastic bags also kill coral reefs by suffocating and blocking the natural light they need to survive. Plastic pollution in the ocean has become so severe that there is now a floating garbage patch in the North Pacific Ocean, known as the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. It has an estimated surface area of 1.6 million square kilometers. That is an area two times the size of Texas. Marine species living in that area are being strangled and suffocated by the many plastic hazards they are forced to live with. The issue of plastic pollution started with us, and it needs to end with us. We can make a difference. Here's how we can help. Start by using reusable water bottles and lunch containers to reduce the amount of plastic waste each day. If you do use a plastic bottle or container that cannot be reused, recycle it. Do not use cosmetic products with microbeads in them. Microbeads are plastic that will eventually make their way make their way into the ocean. Participate in beach and river cleanups or conduct your own with a group of friends. I know that the trash is stinky and bending over all the time hurts your back, but if you don't, who else will? Every person counts. Support organizations like Heal the Bay that eliminate plastic pollution. They have cleanup days every third Saturday of the month. Make your voice heard and spread the word. We all use social media, and it could be a great outlet for you to help make the world aware of the serious effects plastic pollution is having on our beloved ocean. It is the little things we do that help restore our ocean to what it used to be. Keep our oceans clean and preserve for future generations to love and enjoy.